hello. Uh, so next in line is uh, uh, the relational database uh, management uh, system software tool. And in our case, we are basically going to store uh, PostgreSQL. Um, and so the, the installation uh, process is so very easy. I mean, you just have to make sure that you download the correct uh, uh, file to install. Um, in fact, one of the uh, things I miss the most about um, Windows is the uh, double click and next, next, next when you're installing software. Um, the situation is so very different when you start uh, using uh, um, Linux. Uh, 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 Linux-like operating systems or Unix-like operating systems, and so uh, the the default uh, the default uh, the default values are pretty much uh, okay. Just need to uh, be careful that the sort of passwords uh, or the password that you you you, you pick is something that um, you'll be able to remember. And the default port fifty four thirty two should be sufficient, but obviously on a production system you might decide to set it to a different port just so um, you are safe security wise uh, if it's an issue. Um, the default lo lo locale should be fine. Um, and you just need to sit back, relax and wait uh, for Windows to be seen. I should mention here that uh, uh, Postgres SQL is perhaps one of the core components um, uh, that the, the DSpace uh, uh, software actually relies upon. Because uh, um, eventually, you you notice that we we'll create um, a database that will uh, evidently store uh, corresponding metadata for um, your digital objects or resources that you'll be storing. Uh, into this space, um, um, and, and so clearly, it's it's a very core component of uh, this space software itself. Okay, so you don't need a start Buddha. You can just click finish, and uh, you're basically done. Okay, so the next component that we're gonna install is uh, Tomcat, and I'll see you in the next video.